As it gets closer to the end of February, we find ourselves getting closer to not only spring, but allergy season. Our LV Hissum has more. With allergy season fast approaching, Amy Phelps with the Mid-Ohio Valley Health Department says that preventative measures such as checking the pollen count outside, showering and changing your clothes after being outside, and having high efficiency air filters in your HVAC system at home can help to either lessen or prevent allergy symptoms from happening, along with what she claims to be the most important thing. The most important thing, which we should be doing all the time, is make sure you're washing your hands. You know, wash your hands before you touch your face. Wash, wash your hands all the time. That can help prevent any kind of germs. Along with allergies, with concerns about RSV and COVID still on the radar, Phelps explains one key difference in symptoms in order for you to be more discerning of your health. Well, they all have kind of respiratory symptoms and everything, but allergies don't come with a fever. So if you have a fever, it's probably a virus and uh, especially if it continues for a long time, you want to definitely see, see your doctor or healthcare provider as soon as you can to see if there's anything treatments that they can give you. And uh, COVID, of course, you can take a test. When asked how people can discern whether their symptoms are severe enough to warrant going to the hospital, in order to prevent overwhelming already overwhelmed doctors and nurses, Phelps says that if you don't have a fever, your symptoms will stay either as a cold or an allergy attack. If you're ever having trouble breathing, especially that's or your child, family member, whatever, that's the time when you probably need to at least call your medical professional, um, doctor, what have you, and see if you need to come in to seek treatment. Be, and especially uh, with asthma, because allergies uh, can uh, really trigger asthma more, so they tend to be a little bit more susceptible. So you'll want to make sure you're, you're taking your asthma medication and then seek your doctor when necessary. Phelps left off by saying if you have any kind of virus to make sure that you are drinking a lot of water as dehydration can be an added issue when sick. Make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids and and then you're treating any kind of fever with, uh, you know, acetaminophen, uh, ibuprofen, that kind of thing. In Parkersburg, L.V. Hissom for WTAP News.